Money is fucking abundant. Money was not abundant a couple hundred years ago. Money was not abundant when Jesus Christ walked the world. Money was not abundant during the Black Plague. Money was not abundant until this last decade or two for Western people. And everyone's relationship with money is what's keeping them poor. I didn't realize this. It's taken me several journeys in my own life to get to this point where I finally appreciate and understand the proper way to think about money. It's not real in the sense of it is a bunch of fucking bankers putting numbers on a screen. So it's like literally not a real thing that dictates and controls everyone's fucking life to the point that people do things they have no interest in doing people live lives that they have no interest in living people trade their most precious time for money why is that when you are dead you are going to want more time when you are dead you are going to want more time you're not going to have a fuck about the money going in the ground and so tell me why logically why people would trade all of their time for money it's because this entire thing is a scam the world we exist in today right now with extreme abundance is engineered in a way that is keeping you on this endless treadmill a fucking life. I got creators in this stream right now who can work an hour a day and make 10, 20, 30,000 dollars a month. And on the other side of that whole matrix, I know people clocking into jobs every single day that they fucking hate. And they live a life that they fucking hate of silent desperation. And it starts with that fucked up relationship with money. When you are thinking about those numbers on a screen, when you're thinking about that number in your bank account, when you are thinking about the price, when you are thinking about the cost, you are operating from a place of scarcity. Like there isn't trillions of fake dollars out there that are already printed that you just have to go get. These numbers, they aren't real. You walk through here where I live, the gates of Dorado Beach, there's $40 million mansions, $50 million mansions, $20 million mansions that aren't on the water. People don't think about how it's even attainable. So think about it. One of the first things you can do if money's just not real, the second you have money, why would you not invest that money into earning back your time? That's one thing I've done my entire life, maybe subconsciously. I've been through some things that make me never want to give in to this system. I've seen things that never make me want to go into this system. But shout out Jimmy because that entire school of thought, it starts with changing your relationship with money, okay? You need to rewrite that entire scarcity mindset. If you are worried about the difference between $15 and $19 per hour, you are operating from a place of scarcity. If you are worried about what the cost is, you are operating from a place of scarcity. There is an innate magic that comes with abundance. There is a special force that the universe will literally work on your behalf to help you find what you want, but it comes from abundance. And so my life, when I was building the Genius Brand, before I got on social media, and we'll go full Rob the Bank character for this one, when I was building genius i believed anything was possible i was building with my boys 20 hour fucking days i didn't sleep for real 20 hour day sounds crazy but i had a way of staying up and i put my heart and soul into that and throughout that entire process i believed anything was possible i thought i was going to build a hundred million dollar company a hundred million dollar exit i didn't get to that point scarcity intercepted me bad relationships intercepted me trouble intercepted me still a great business sold it to private equity changed my life forever that was my first real relationship with abundance after that i i learned how to be rich and during this time i get into the mathematics the models all of the things that they teach you like the Harvard level wealth protection, you know, risk management, Talib, randomness, chance. And I go, you know what? There's there's no abundance in this world. It's not how it works. There's no magic. Everything is is reason and chance. From 22 to when I sold the company, I didn't make less than a million dollars a year in taxable income. At one point, I'm making six, seven million dollars and then I sold the business huge year. When I operated from a place of scarcity and wealth protection, my income shriveled. I protected the base, but I was making back close to a million on paper in like the return, the, the asset investment. No explosive growth, nothing. When I have my scare with Mel Melanoma, the whole cancer scare. I don't know if you guys know that. I don't really feel like getting into the whole story, but I was hit with this reality. You know, you think you're on top of the world. You think you're this multimillionaire. God works in mysterious ways. Universe works in mysterious ways. But I had this health scare where all of a sudden I thought my life trajectory was going to be defined by fighting cancer. Like I, I had this melanoma surgically removed and it sent me down this long, difficult path. A lot of self-discovery, a lot of trying to figure out what's the point of this life. I realized that what's the fucking point of sitting on this money? Let me put it out there. Let me die with zero. Let me invest in the experiences. I get through this whole thing where I'm thinking, I'm not going to see my daughters grow up. And I realized like, oh shit, oh shit, this can be gone at any minute. And I haven't traveled the world. I haven't left my mark. There's not thing, there's things I haven't done. And so I almost immediately, I'm like, I'm like, Jing, my wife, I'm like, hey, we can afford 50, 75, $100,000 vacations. Why aren't we doing that? And we just, we started traveling. This is before Rob the Bank, you know, but, but I'm putting money out there all of a sudden. And the effect back in my life, broadening my horizons, these experiences, they started unlocking a different level of me, a different version of this character. And then I get into fashion and I'm telling you, I'm putting the money out there like it's not real. And you know what? On the other end of that, I find out it's fucking not. And then I go, oh yeah, I'm the guy that knows the whole thing is a scam. And the end result of operating from a place of abundance and the end result of not being afraid to take that risk and put it out there, it has been exponential, fucking insane, personal, profitable growth. What has happened over the past couple of years for me is nothing short of a God, God. And it's not easy.
and it takes time. And when I was in those darkest hours sitting there having to go to oncology, I'll never forget that walking to oncology. And the first thing I see is this bald mom with her eight year old kid holding her hand. And I'm just like, fuck, that burnt me forever. That is burnt in my mind forever. But you think back when I was there, you think I'd be, you think I could see the life now. And so no matter where any of you guys are at right now, no matter where you're at in your own life, know that is happening for you. When you put that out there from your soul, from your heart, from a place of love, that's the antidote. That's the answer. That'll make a difference in your life. For real. You all got it in you too. And if you're going through something, remember the darkest moments are right before the fucking dawn. And you got that. You got that in you. I believe in you. I would tell my younger self this entire story. I would say there is no finish line. At 32 now, I realize there is no finish line. Great things can happen at any moment. Bad things can happen at any moment. What you shape yourself, the skills that you add, who you become, that's the important part in the entire process. When did you make your first million? You know, on paper, like 20, 23. You got to remember, so you're building like a company like Genius, there's millions of dollars of revenue. There's millions of dollars of inventory. Your profit is like on paper what you pay at the end of the year for tax, right? But that can go back into inventory. That can go back into whatever. I remember when I was like 24, what was it? 20, it was, it was the crypto bull run of 2018 when Bitcoin peaked at 20K. I had like 600K in my bank, but Genius was like, you know, probably had five, six million bucks. Like, you know, Genius was, had M's that I, was the sole owner of that flowed through to my tax returns. Does that make sense? That, that, and that again, that is understanding money. Go read more money than God. Go read the psychology of money. These are books that can help unlock all of that for you. Is 100K for 19 good? Hey, I, I, I'm proud of wherever you're at if you're grinding, becoming who you're supposed to be. I don't put the, like I just said, this shit's fake. These numbers are fake. We don't need to ascribe value to that. Favorite e-com niches? I like consumables, you know, things with high margin, things that people buy multiple times. Top five books. I think books are important relative to the time in your life, you know? Um, so those ones I just said, building a story brand by Donald Miller, 22 Immutable Laws of Branding. Jake Tran was just reading that. I had read it way back. That's a good book. Different good books. Like, I mean, even the books where I was learning to become rich, all the Nassim Tlaib stuff, it's good. It can just mess you up too. What did you do about people selling my products on Amazon? Full-fledged legal attack, you know, working with Amazon, all sorts of stuff. Big tech, it's, it's tough. So just the IP complaints on the fake product. These people take the buy box at silly prices, right? So they fuck my business. For Amazon, you need to receive the product first. These are fake spammy seller accounts. And so you buy the product, they take two weeks to ship. You can't get them kicked off off until the two weeks. Real, real messy stuff. And then they have like 50 accounts. I am so thankful for my people. You are the median of the five people you spend the most time with. Fact, you are the median of the, the five people you spend the most time with. And everyone's like, okay, well, let me just go hang out with billionaires. You're not ready to hang out with billionaires. You need to focus on becoming you. Every single person in my life, I haven't, I haven't, I don't seek these things out actively. You attract. It is all about attracting everything. It's about attracting the money. It's about attracting the people. It's about attracting the goals that you want in this world. Do not chase. Chasing sets yourself up for a life of discontent, anger, and all of it. I was a loner for a long time, bro. People don't know like my full, full backstory. Like I was five, three in high school. People did not fuck with me. Girls did not fuck with me, but we're better with the right people. We go so much further with the right people. I was funny nowadays. I'm like six, three, six, four, like good shape, all, all this stuff. And people don't realize that I was like a nerd. People don't realize that like I was bullied. I didn't give a fuck. People don't realize that like I didn't fit in. 